Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. In the event that your brake light just illuminated on your instrument cluster inside your vehicle, we're going to talk more about it. All right, DIYers, check this out. We're on the computer right now. I just wanted to show you an image of the master brake cylinder that is not installed on a vehicle prior to going outside. So with that said, this portion right here, the master cylinder, is what feeds into your brake booster. The brake booster has an internal pin that pushes the internal cylinder in and out. And you should have a dust gasket here, and it's held on by two bolts, one on this side, one on the opposite side. And up top, you see the reservoir tank, you see the min line, the max line. It's always very important to keep the brake fluid within that proper fill parameter. And on top, you've got your reservoir cap. And down below right here is where one of our brake lines feeds into and is secured. And right here is the electrical connection point. And this is very important because once brake fluid goes below that min line or outside of these fill parameters, it could be above the max line or below the min line. Guess what? This electrical connection or sensor sends a signal to the onboard computer telling it it is low on brake fluid or brake fluid has exceeded the max line and at that point your onboard computer sends the signal to your instrument cluster and turns on that brake light so in the event that your brake light is on take a look at your master brake cylinder reservoir cap make sure the fluid is within the proper fill parameters if it's below the min line spend a minute or two and add some brake fluid if it is above the max line you may need to siphon some out in most cases most people use paper towels by dabbing it or what shops use are syringes I believe. So now that we know what this looks like let's head out the vehicle and I'll show you what it looks like installed in the vehicle. All right DIYers outside of the vehicle we are going to be referencing a Toyota Camry coming inside the engine compartment basically in line with your steering wheel and driver's seat is your master brake cylinder and hopefully that should look familiar from the picture we just showed you on the computer and you've got the top brake line going in there's also one on the side you've got your reservoir here's the cap and on the side here is that electrical connection point and as you can see ours is secured and we have fresh fluid and it is within the proper fill parameters and i'll go ahead and open this up just to show you if you're curious nothing fancy so again it's very possible that you are either below the min line or above the max line and that electrical sensor has sent that signal to the onboard computer and told it something is not right inside the brake system and that light is then illuminated on your instrument cluster and you as the driver will notice that and hopefully add some fluid or remove some fluid in the event that it is above the max line and that's rare in most cases it is below the min line so i just wanted to show you that Check that out. That is our pump motor for our awesome air horn. It's about two feet long. Check that thing out. Scrolling above, we will put a video on the installation process of installing that air horn system. You can see the hose feeding all the way. We tapped into our original horn wiring, and this thing's loud. DIYers, hopefully this helps. Also, down below in the comment section as well as the description section are a bunch of video links to videos talking about brake systems and having trouble bleeding your brakes. You may find those helpful. From here, do us a favor. Below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.